Hey everybody, I'm Sherwin Shalati, one of the uh, directors of Lucifer. Very fortunate to be one of those folks. And uh, I just want to introduce the, uh, to you guys uh, a very special sneak peek of the Lucifer musical episode. Hey Ella, hey. you wanna catch Lucifer up? Oh, sure. So, it was the fourth quarter. It had just hit the two minute warning. Cathedral highs down by three, but they've got possession. Cheerleader, do you wanna <clears throat> Just skip to the flag on the play. Right. Well, poor Steve Rockwell here dropped dead at the 50 yard line. Everyone thought he died of a heart attack, but Ella figured out he was murdered. Yeah, someone wet his whistle with poison. That blows. Nice. <laughs> what are you gonna do though, right? Another one bites the dust. Miss Lopez, are you all right? What just happened? I already told you. Poison whistle. Wow. I don't even know where to go from here, but I'd like to introduce, that is a mic drop moment, I'd like to introduce our showrunners of Lucifer, Ildi Majovic and Joe Henderson. Welcome, you guys. Hello. Hello. I mean, we're, we're going to get to that clip in a second. I, my brain can't even process it, but I wish... <laughs> I wish we could be together right now. I wish we could be in the same room, but this will certainly do. I'm so glad to see your faces. The fans have been waiting for a musical episode of Lucifer. I need to know so many things, uh, but let's start with when did you guys even have the idea that this could be an actual thing? Gosh, uh, I, I'll, I'll say it's, it's been a slow build, a slow burn um, after... I mean, in my heart, it began to blossom after the Vegas episode when Tom did, um, Tom and, and Amy did Luck Be a Lady. And I, I, I remember coming into rehearsal for that and crying because I, I, I was, it was such a dream come true and it was so exciting to me. I'm like, and if it, there's any a sh show that you could actually do a musical on it's this one it was my personal mission to do a musical episode without actually having to do it because it's really hard and exhausting so i loved that ildi wanted to do it and i could uh be part of it but not actually have to do all the hard work well um, i remember uh you know when i started with you guys season two like hearing rumblings of you know, little thing, every season musical, is that going to happen? And it, it definitely felt like uh, a fever dream. Like, I didn't know if that was really going to happen. And when it all came together, I mean, wow, what a, what a cool 
uh, surprise and, and an incredible experience it was for all of us working on it. Um, uh, for the folks at home, I directed, was lucky enough to direct this episode, but um, it's going to be, I just can't wait for the fans to see it. Oh, one thing I want to do is congratulate you guys on season six. I mean, uh, another go around, another way to, to, to bring this baby home. I mean, how do you guys feel about that? You can't kill the devil, my friend. <laughs> yep. Can't do it. Can't keep a good devil down. It is uh, <laughs> it is the strangest thing. We are potentially the most canceled slash uncanceled show that's ever existed. <laughs> um, that's a cool distinction. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's we. Uh, it's a mixture of emotional whiplash uh, and also uh, joy and gratitude because um, you know we we had a chance to end the season series five uh, uh, the series season five um, because we were told it was ending and then we were given the option to uh, decide whether or not we had more story to tell. And at first we were like, no, we, we think we've, we, this is it, we're ready to go. And it was very much in our court and Ildi and I in the room talked about it a bunch and we we're like, One more story to tell. One and more. we're two weeks into the room and I, I just, I can't imagine not telling the story. Wow. Let's talk really quickly, like what goes into prepping and shooting and even the post-production side, a, a musical episode like this? Like, can you guys speak to that? I don't know. I <laughs> mean, we almost broke production. We almost broke our show. Seriously, we had to create, right? Remember, I mean, we had to create a completely separate schedule just to track all the rehearsals for the dance, rehearsals for the music, um, and all the recording sessions for the music. And we, we just had, had to have like track every single thing um, just to coordinate it. And I think, I think, uh, I think we almost exploded our, our show. We really did. And then when you guys found out, when, when you actually got the news that, the musical episode is happening. Uh, it's been approved. Warner Brothers was into it, all that stuff. But what was that feeling after years of thinking about it? Part of the challenge was we were always trying to find the reason. Uh, part of it is it's like, you've, you, to me, in these musical episodes, you've got to have the story-based reason that everyone breaks into song. And our show has people breaking the song all the time, but it's because they're at Lux or because of reasons like that. So uh, one of the challenges is what element can we introduce that is organic to our story that allows all of our cast uh, to burst into song. And when we found that, which I'm not gonna say what it is. No, spoiler. Uh, I'll say it's, it's genius, but continue. That's when it came together. Yes. Awesome, awesome. And would you say, as far as the cast goes, were there people uh, who were more excited than others that we were, that you guys were gonna do um, this musical episode? Like who was the most <laughs> jazzed and who was the least jazzed? Well, it's funny because at the beginning of every season, we have the actors come in one by one and we kind of talk about their, what their story is going to be for the season. And this time uh, it was a question, what do you feel comfortable doing? We're going to do the musical. Do you want to sing? Do you want to dance? Do you want to do both? Pretty much everybody <laughs> was like, oh, I want to do all of it. It was fun to watch people decide where their, their comfort level was. Um, because it's something that very much we wanted to empower them to like feel like, listen, do as much as little as you want, but this is this is your opportunity to do this if you want to. Can you guys confirm or deny, or that, deny. Tom, that that Tom Ellis had a special suit made for him that stretched, uh, it gave a, it had a lot of give so he could do his dance moves? Oh, I believe it's called wefting. <laughs> And yes, he does indeed have a special suit. It has elastic in the armpits. Oh, I, I didn't know this. And in the crotch area. For and I believe, I believe even so that you may kick and raise your arms wow. without splitting. But I believe he, he split the crotch anyway. Was there, was there a moment um, when during the prep of the episode or during the episode where you guys may have thought, oh God, what have we done? Most of production had that feeling every minute of every day. <laughs> They're like, 
what if you do what you do, man? <laughs> Whereas we were like, <laughs> by the way, I want to I take over this interview a second. Uh, Sherwin, what scene as a director was the one that like uh, the, the challenged you or that you found the most interesting to do? So I, I would have to say the the finale of the episode is is one that I uh, put, you know, obviously I put a lot of thought into to everything, but I wanted that one to have <clears throat> a special quality, a, a standalone quality, but not for the reasons the audience might think. So I, I, I'm pretty confident that we built the the momentum up to get to that point um, in the episode. So to answer your question, it, it would probably be that final number that has so much going on in it, yet not that much at all. It is a beautiful duet. Oh. oh. I will oh. say. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I think all the, all the songs, there's a lot of funny, but there's also a lot of emotion. And so there's a great range of, of feelings that are expressed. As someone who wasn't there at all, I'm curious what else happened during rehearsal with the actors, moments you might have found that we see on the screen or things like that, just as you guys were both exploring the space and the song. Well, it's, I, yeah, go, Ildi, go. I was going to say, I wonder if we're going to say the same thing. Is that <laughs> even, even in, uh, like, Another One Bites the Dust, which was so choreographed, it had to be, yeah. there were still moments of improvisation. That made the cut, yes. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> well, there, yeah. <laughs> can you pick it out? Yeah, that's the key. <laughs> there, is a, there is a moment that... Uh, one of the actors, uh, you know, does something on on her own volition. <laughs> well, he did comes, not say do we, it. It was not. It was not a piece of choreography. But so many of the, you know, we would like be dancing, you know, between takes and like just messing around. Like everyone was just be having so much fun that like you discover things in those moments yeah. and then you'd end up putting it in the show. So you know, there's like point. 0.5% of improv in there, but it's in there. It didn't yeah. make the cut. It's, and I, mean, I think we can say it's Lauren, a moment between. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a moment between Lauren and Tom. <laughs> and Lauren really takes control of the moment. She really <laughs> takes control of the moment. Well, but that's also what's great with working with actors and working with people who understand comedy and those. It's like they're working within very strict boundaries, but they still find those little moments within it. Yes. That's so true. I mean, yeah. She found it. She <laughs> we, sure did. We, we hit the floor. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I, I begged Ildi. I begged her to leave it in the cut. So I'm glad it, I'm glad it oh. made it. I saw it when I just watched the clip. No oh, yeah. begging needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am so excited for the fans to see this episode. It was such a pleasure to work on it. Um, always such a pleasure to work with you guys. And uh, I just, yeah, this is going to be a special one for the show. So thank you, Ildi. Thank you, Joe. Uh, we love you guys. We hope uh, season six is getting started uh, with a bang. And hope it's good. Soon. It's good. <laughs> and thank you, Sherwin. You directed a hell oh. of an episode. Oh. My pleasure. My, oh. my absolute pleasure. You slayed pleasure. it. Slayed thanks it. Thanks it. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Hi. So I'm like a boxer getting ready for a fight. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Go. Well then. I guess that's uh, case closed. Yeah. Detective, I know that you and me, it's... it's... Look, <laughs> the earth is now. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. Is it gone? Oh, it's back. Oh, right back. Uh, he likes your backside. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Nobody moves. Oh. Jesus Christ, what was that? It felt oh, enormous. Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, pumped it up. <laughs> I made sure all the bases were covered for you. Boom. God, we okay. Go. Oh, we still have to pick him up. <laughs> what was that? I'll show you what that was. Damn! <laughs> oh my God! Hi, sorry. Get off my bridge, Linda. Nope. 
Nope, can't do it. What? Can't do I heard what? An oof. What happened? <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. Somebody said, oh. I was like, oh. I'm sorry, but that, that made me lose my acting voter. <laughs> sorry. Right, I see what's happening here. You do? Yes, and you needn't worry, detective, because the acting police are here. <laughs> Will you marry me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Picked up the candy dandy rave donuts instead of the regular glazed ones. Instead of the regular glazed ones. One bite of these. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Baby, hop down to the table oh, and start the hoist. <laughs> <laughs> start on the hoist, Doc. <laughs> oh, God, it looks like a cheese pizza. I know. <laughs> mm, no. No, no. <laughs> Give me your gun. Okay. Put it on the floor. Okay. And, and, and your phone, and your phone. Where's my phone? It's in my pocket, sorry. <laughs> Forgive me for that. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Here, take my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new uh, cast member this season. We should talk about this. Just beneath the surface. Yeah. I thought that might have been like. Yeah. Linda! Hey, stop it, you two. It's good that I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no? No? Oh, oh, wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. No, we're acting. Oh. <laughs> you guys are so good. You are so good. Some stereotype, right? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> I can't get out of here. <laughs> I can't. So good, you know. Just uh, what is this? Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> Letting loose. I don't want to freak you out, but um, I think we're out of time. Like, <laughs> because that would be. <laughs> it? If you didn't come this far, then why did you invite me here? Wait. Are you gonna throw me out of throat? <laughs> Wait. Are you gonna throw me out of throat throws today? No, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, wait. Are you gonna teach me how to throw knives today? No.